Have you ever heard of the zombie deer disease? A chilling term inspired by the unsettling symptoms of chronic wasting disease, or CWD. This isn't a plot from a horror flick, rather an alarming reality that's been impacting our wildlife. This neurodegenerative disorder, akin to a deer version of mad cow disease, affects deer, elk and moose, turning them into what looks like creatures out of a nightmare. This disease was first discovered in the late 1960s at a research facility in Colorado. Now it's been detected in 26 states in the US, as well as in Canada, Norway, Finland and South Korea. Its spread is rapid and relentless, raising severe concerns about the health of our wildlife ecosystem. CWD affects the brain and spinal cord, causing drastic weight loss and leading to the haunting skeletal appearance, hence the term zombie deer. The transformation is shocking. Healthy, robust deer turn gaunt, their bodies degenerating until they are barely more than skin and bone. But the horror doesn't stop there. These afflicted animals lose their coordination, stumbling around as if controlled by some nefarious force. Their drooling is excessive, another disturbing symptom of this fatal ailment. Unfortunately, the disease is fatal, with no known cure or treatment. It is a slow, agonizing end for these creatures, a pitiful sight that leaves a lasting impression. What's even more worrying is its impact on the wildlife ecosystem, decimating herds and potentially disrupting the balance of our forests. So, now you know about this horrifying disease that turns deer into something resembling the walking dead. But the question that lingers fostering a sense of dread is, can it spread to humans? Can this dreadful disease jump from deer to humans? This is a question that has been bothering scientists and health professionals alike. Let's delve into the current scientific understanding of this unsettling possibility. As of now, there's no concrete evidence that chronic wasting disease, also known as zombie deer disease, has made the leap to humans. But we can't breathe easy just yet. Some experimental studies have hinted that under specific conditions, the disease might find a way to cross the species barrier. This paints a rather ambiguous picture, doesn't it? It underscores the need for more extensive research to fully understand this risk and to devise potential preventive measures. It's a complex puzzle that the scientific community is actively trying to solve. While the risk of zombie deer disease spreading to humans remains uncertain, it's still a topic that deserves our attention. So the zombie deer disease is indeed a chilling reality for our wildlife, but the threat to humans is still under investigation. This eerie ailment, also known as chronic wasting disease, has been wreaking havoc within deer populations, causing alarming symptoms akin to those seen in zombie movies. The diseased deer often appear emaciated, exhibit abnormal behavior, and eventually succumb to the illness. However, the million dollar question remains, could this disease cross the species barrier and pose a threat to humans? As it stands, scientific consensus maintains that humans are safe. Yet the importance of continued research into this disease cannot be overstated. In a world where diseases have shown the ability to jump between species, we must stay vigilant. What are your thoughts on this eerie disease? Do you think it could eventually affect humans? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, stay curious and keep learning.